Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with the WBZ News Update Top Stories. Police are looking for a driver who hit a pedestrian and then fled the scene and a witness as well who may have seen it all. This happened early this morning just before 2.30 a.m. Police say a man in his 30s was hit by a red sedan while crossing Columbia Road right at the exit 14 ramp on 93 North in Southie. What they also say is that a white SUV was at the same spot at the same time, but that driver also fled. The man was seriously hurt, but will survive. Police were asking anyone who might have any information to reach out to them. 20-year-old James Coe has been charged with second-degree murder and the death of his mother, 59-year-old Denise D'Amato Coe. Police say they found her body inside her home in Danville, New Hampshire last week. She'd been shot several times. Police tell us Coe shot his mother with a rifle, then removed it from the scene. He's also charged with falsifying physical evidence and being a fugitive from justice. Boston is one step closer to rebuilding the bridge that leads out to Long Island. Mayor Michelle Wu says the city has received a key permit for this project. The mayor says reopening the addiction treatment center on Long Island will help those in crisis and their families. The city of Quincy has been trying to stop this plan because Quincy says it will increase traffic and harm the environment. But Boston leaders said today they do not think Quincy can block the plan. We are under a next weather alert this Thursday for the potential for more flooding because downpours are headed uh, our way tonight into Friday. So we want to get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. We're going to be dealing with quite a bit going on. In fact, as we look at our weather graphics tonight, we have the chance for some gusty wind and some heavy rain. That's likely going to be the biggest impacts for most of us. But there's the possibility that somewhere along the southeastern coastline, we do have a brief tornado. This is the same area that was impacted on Tuesday from those two tornadoes, Mattapoisett and also as you go into Marston's Mills, those two tornadoes uh, leaving a mark on the Cape and notice that green shaded color here, that's the same area that we would potentially see another chance for tornadoes. Now we do have a flood watch in effect for pretty much all of central and eastern New England. I think that as you go north and west of Boston, the threat is a little bit less, a little bit more as you go towards the Cape and Islands. All that being said, up to the northwest, we picked up quite a bit of rain, four to eight inches in some areas. So it doesn't take much to kind of put us over the edge again. So if we do pick up some showers uh, up towards the Merrimack Valley, that could mean some issues. I'm not suggesting too much here. And even the latest models as you go towards the Cape don't suggest too much, but that also isn't factoring in some of the thunderstorms. When we get these cells that develop and move over an area, it's likely that we could see totals one to two inches in some spots. So we'll be watching that threat of localized flooding very closely. There is that non-zero threat for a tornado and also a threat of some damaging wind. All that is what we'll be tracking as we head into this evening. Notice on our satellite and radar, we're dry right now. We actually have a little bit of sunshine trying to sneak out, but not far away. Sneaking into the picture is this line of showers. What we'll watch for is that line to kind of move off the coast, strengthen a little bit and throw rain chances in our direction. That would be in the evening time. Notice the center of the storm is actually right about there and notice the rain north of the pike, not a ton south of the pike. The southeastern coastline is where we see some of those showers and even storms. So if we were to narrow down a time frame between about 7 and 10 o'clock, I would expect to see some of these severe storms to roll on through. We'll start to clear out as we get past midnight and there's the sunshine in store for your Friday. 80 right now. Dew points are starting to rise. That's one piece of ingredients that we look for when it comes to strong to severe storms. Mid 70s. 80s on the board. There's where the dew points are really starting to peak for the Cape and Islands. Our hour by hour forecast takes us through the 80s back into uh, the 70s as we go into the evening with those showers and storms that start to uh, move into the area. 64 for overnight lows, heavy rain and strong winds. The heaviest impacts will be felt south and east of Boston for Bristol and Plymouth County towards the Cape and Islands. And then tomorrow is looking spectacular highs in the upper 70s and low 80s. A lot of sunshine along the way. And our seven day forecast looks like this low 80s for Friday, mid 80s for Saturday. It's Saturday night into Sunday that we see another chance for showers moving on in and Monday we're back into the low 80s. So there's your seven day forecast. Let's stay weather aware this evening.
Jacob, thank you. I'm Paula Eben. This has been a WBZ News Update.